What's up guys? Hello Creative Sound. So I got this plugin. It's a synth, it's a polysynth plugin called Super 8. This is not new. It's been out for a while. It's actually been sitting in, on my computer for a very long time. But I just thought maybe how about I make a beat using it? Yeah, let's let's dive in. I'm using Studio One, of course, uh, known as the Studio One Guru. But uh, let me set this camera up here so you guys can see what's going on. This is a really cool plug right here. It's uh, modeled after analog polysynth synthesizers or whatnot. And it's more so like your, I guess more so like the modern sound, like that's kind of my take or whatever. <laughs> It produces a modern sound, but it's still, it's 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 an old sound packaged in a modern way. If you look at the controls on this thing, it looks pretty easy. Like all of everything, it, you know, you don't have to know much about modular and sense and how to route everything. Everything is right there in front of you. It makes it easy to see um, and it looks friendly. You know, it looks like it doesn't look as intimidating as some synthesizers that I've seen, right? It's, it's very simple. You got two oscillators here. You got a filter, you got an amp. Then you got your pitch modula uh, modulation, mod one, mod two, filter, envelope, amp, envelope. And then you have your routing where you can route things here to your touch strip. I'm using the complete control keyboard, which is pretty cool how it's mapped here. And then you have your effects switch between the chorus, the flanger, the delay, and your reverb. So here's the thing, guys. When I do these reviews, I really don't dive deep into all of the aspects of it. I just worry about the sounds, right? That's what you guys care about. Does it sound good? Is it motivating? Is it inspirational? Can I make music with this? Even in modern day, 2020, right? You can, yeah, you could definitely use this which is the reason why I want to spend a little time playing with this plug. All right. Okay, so this is Super 8 right here, right? But um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drag Scalar 2 over just so I don't embarrass myself completely. Make it sound like Will make it look like I, I know how to play the piano. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have um, scales, scale of two, to um, be in thirty here on, on super eight here, and we're gonna go ahead and um, set this all up for you guys. Let me get rid of this sound right quick. Scale of two is one of my favorite, by the way. And let's get something going. All right, so just going through some of the sounds here. If you click here, you have a big bank of presets. And by the way, it, it's not a big file when you purchase this here. It's very, it's very low as far as, because it's a polysynth, right? Makes sense. Let's see what brass sounds like. So let's get out of here. I'm gonna just click the down and up arrow for right now just so you guys can see everything change up. So every time you move something around, it, it changes the sound. It's a blend between oscillator one and two. Change. 
Check that out. And you can also change these the shape. I'm just show you that right quick. See that? That's rich. I'm just playing, I'm just playing around, turning up. Flanger. Let's turn his effects on. I like the chorus. All right, let's keep going with the presets. Let's go to another section. Let's go to plug strings. Let's see. like that. Let's see what Seth Lee has. tell that I like this because I even saved presets for myself so we got this one I like that and I got this one here Kind of did a little tweaking to get it to sound like that. There's like drums in here.
track Kit Kicker. Nice. All right, what about some pianos? Let me show y'all something really cool. Now, the part where I said you can add the modular routing to your 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 touch strip on your keyboard, this is what that really looks like. So, right where we see this here, it works. Let me show you. See if I can. really cool and that's basically once you press here you click in that box right quick and then you can set those different parameters to whatever you want and then I can make this touch strip you know what I mean so you, you, you have like flexibility to do all types of stuff in here which is really cool your side chain down here I don't I haven't really messed with any of these but just the top row. There's a bunch of videos on this already, so you guys can visit those. Of course, you probably already know about this, and you're like, "LW you link to the game." But I just thought it'd be cool to show some of my people, my su subscribers, that probably don't know anything about this. This is a really cool gym, and it's priced right, actually. So if you're looking for a synth and something really simple, but you can make it sound big or make it sound small, whatever you want to do with it. This right here, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool, even for modern, like trap or pop, EDM, you, you got to go in and just make it your own, you know? That's what I find. You could tweak this thing to, to do something, and some of the presets in here are pretty amazing. So without further ado, I like to paint. I like to paint my picture here and, and see what we come up with as far as making the beat right quick. Drag in Super 8 again and keep going. Go to one of my presets. Okay, let's bring this thing in again and let's find a bass sound. Let's go up here and go to bass. Let's see what we got. white noise in there don't think I'll be needing that
let's go for battery four for our drums. All right, here we go. bounce that, that snap snare or whatever I bounce that down so I can continue using battery four so what I'm gonna do here is just take this and duplicate that and build on top of this I want to tune this a little bit some of this heavy weight out of there. Yeah, that's cool. this to pitches right quick and get these both bounced down it's kind of the way I like to work just bounce everything down that way I can just keep one instance of battery and just keep working this button right here is a lifesaver on the keyboard that's really cool the kick and we're gonna keep it rolling so I want to use those hi-hats and so what I'm gonna do here is go to the note repeat here in studio one we're gonna activate that I'm gonna hit that icon and then this pops up and the note repeat here turns into these everything is kind of marked the different resolutions so that's I feel like that's kind of a easy workflow. So So, you know, that's kind of cool actually. So, here we go. I got a little ahead of myself, so what I'm gonna do here is undo all of that. So let's do that again. Two. All right, so maybe we can play with a, a lead sound. I got this magic touch that I really, really like.
cool. Sounds really cool. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, there you have it. That's a uh, Super 8 and I really, I really like it. I really enjoy what I'm, what I'm able to do in here. It's really cool. So hopefully this is something that works for your workflow. You like it. And um, if so, there's a link in the description. It's an affiliate link, by the way. All it does is help me out for making these types of videos. It doesn't cost you anything extra. I appreciate it. My name is Ella from Creative Sound. Remember, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your pictures. Stay creative without rules.